Experion is a process used to test for RNA quality and for degradation. We're going to go through that today. Hi, um, we're going over a program, a um, computer program called Experion. And this is basically what the software looks like on your computer. Um, and this is actually what the machine looks like. Um, the main Experion machine. It, it's got a little hatch that comes up like that and you can close down. This is um, the priming unit. Okay, you'll need that. And you'll need this too as well, the Experion Vortex station. Um, this is what the Experion chips look like. I want you to get a real good look at that. Um, these chips are labeled, um, and I'll go over those labels with you soon. And this is your cleaner chip. It, it's, it's a little bit different. The first thing you want to do, we're going to go over the Experion um, process. The first thing you want to do is clean your unit. You're going to need this, which is in the electrode cleaner. Um, and you want to pipe at eight, 800 microliters into one of these green chips. One of these uh, looks just like this. And then you want to place it into your unit. And you want to leave that in there for two minutes. Okay? Once that part process is done, you want to um, take this, which is your deep sea water, after the two minutes of the um, cleaner is set on it, and you want to pay, pipe it 800 microliters into this chip, place it into the unit, and close it, just like you did the last time. And you want to leave that in there for five minutes. Then you want to take that out after five minutes, dump it, completely dump it out, pipe at another 800 microliters, put it back into the machine, close it for two more minutes, and then you want to raise the hood like this, raise the machine hood, leave it sitting up for 60 seconds, and then close it. Okay, and then you're done cleaning your machine. That is the first part of your process. The second part of your process is I would actually go to the computer and put your samples into the computer. And then um, it comes with a kit. The kit looks like this. This is the manual. This is the kit. The kit's going to have units in it that have a yellow top, a green top, and a blue top. Okay? The, the blue top is your stain, okay? and you want to keep that out of sunlight. You don't want to get any light exposure to that because it can degrade it. Um, the first thing you want to do is make your gel. You have to make your gel and you'll take the green top and you'll pipe at 600 microliters into a filter and then you'll run that through your centrifuge. Okay. Once that is filtered, you want to take 65 microliters into another tube of the filter gel and put one microliter of the stain into that tube and you want to vortex that and mix it, mix it well. Um, once you do that, you're ready to prime your chip. I, the, the, the manual will actually tell you to, to um, place your samples onto a uh, heating unit of 70 degrees before you prime the chip. I don't want you to do that. I want you to prime the chip first. Um, the reason why is, is just you, you don't want to leave your, your samples out too long. Um, so take a good look at this chip. This chip has labels on this side, okay? These GS labels right there, okay? The one that has the orange box is the one you want to pipe at. Nine microliters of stained gel into. Nine microliters of stained gel, and then you want to take a look at it, make sure there's no bubbles in there inside of the, uh, the little holes. The if, if you don't see any bubbles, you want to prime the chip. And, and this is your priming unit. This unit right here. The little hatch that you open just like this. You want to, you, you can actually shut the hatch and then push the small button and um, in front of it and it will open the hatch right up. Okay. Once you got it in there, you just press start. It will last for 30 seconds and be completed.
Once you're done priming the chip, you, you want to take a look at the back of the chip. Before you primed it, um, there were actually lines, little gray lines that showed up. When you prime it, you won't see those lines anymore. You want to check for that. If you do see lines, you want to throw it away and prime it again. And if you see air bubbles, you want to reprime it or get you another chip and um, do the process over as well. No air bubbles. After you're done checking the chip, what you want to do is denature your samples. Take your, your 1.5 microliter tubes and place them on a heating unit of 70 degrees, either a heating unit or a water bath. Um, to denature your samples, you need to place them there for two minutes and then place them back on ice for five minutes before you place them back into the chip. Once that is done, you want you you take the chip that you primed you first remember to denature at 70 degrees denature your sample and your ladders at 70 degrees for two minutes okay and and then once you get that out you want to place it back on ice place your samples and your ladder back on ice for five minutes and then your samples will be ready to use but during the time that you're doing that process you want to be loading this chip you want to load, you've already loaded your GS well, uh, so you want to go back to the other well that says GS, which is above the one <clears throat> with the orange block around it, the, the one that's labeled GS in black. You want to load that with nine microliters of stain gel. And then above that, which is the G, the G um, circle, well, you want to um, load nine microliters of un of unstained gel, just the filter gel into that. And then you're ready to load your ladder, which is down there at the bottom of the chip. It says L on the chip. You want to load five microliters of the buffer, which is the yellow top, into there, as well as every well that's loaded for your samples, all 12 wells. So, all of your sample wells should have five microliters of buffer as well as one microliter of each sample and the ladder should also have five microliters of buffer and then one microliter of the ladder okay and that comes with the kit it's in a red top okay then once you're done with that once you're done loading your your sample you want to put it into this this unit right here let me get you a good shot of that that is your mixing unit okay and that's where you're going to place your chip onto the mixing unit like this until it clicks push it back until it clicks and then turn it on it will run for 60 seconds it's actually mixing the samples that you have loaded into there and once it's done mixing you're ready to place it into the machine which is right here and then you're ready to start your software okay once you get your unit started you just hit hit play it'll hit new run okay new run it says no instrument available but we're pulling one up just go to file hit new run and then you'll see this will pop up. I don't know if you can see that real well, but we're going to try to get it. You want to label all of your your sample names into here. Each unit will let you label whatever you name it. This is done. It will beep at you. Then you place it into here. You close the unit, and it's ready to go. Just push play. Hi, um, we're here today going over Experion. I, I want to show you what your results will look like whenever um, you actually run the Experion test. Um, this is um, the, the, the actual ladder is right here and it needs to match up to these numbers. You, you'll see um, two lines right there and Experion is to test RNA degradation. Okay, so if you have good RNA that hasn't been degraded you should see two lines across here. You're also going to have an RQI number that's going to be listed down here. And that 
here we go. Um, it, whenever you score closer to the mark of 10, your, your RNA is going to be in better shape. So whenever you look at your RQI and you have a 9.4 or a 9.6, you've got some great RNA. It will go all the way down to, I believe, 1 or 0. So the, the lower the score, the more degraded the RNA is going to be. If you, uh, I'm going to pull up another run, and I'm going to show you what your, your results will look like whenever your RNA is degraded. Um, this, is, this is good RNA. RNA, you, you want to test this before you go on and do um, more expensive projects like um, microarray. You don't want to do uh, microarray or, or PCRs, which are much more expensive, with RNA that's been degraded. So, and this will show you what what you don't want your results to be. Um, it's going to show you the results um, with uh, degraded RNA. And you see you no longer have those two lines that go across like a regular gel. This is actually better to use than, than MOPS and the Agros gels um, because it's, it's, it's easier to understand your results. Um, it's quicker, it's faster, and it's easier. This is your um, chip. Remember, I, I, in the last video, I showed you the chip. You can do up to 12 samples at a time, including your ladder, okay? And um, you, you'll come out, if, if it's showing to be degraded RNA, it's going to look something more like this. Um, um, just kind of more lines across there, and you're going to get lower scores on your RQI number which your RQI is going to show in the yellow and in the red, and your RQI could be, you know, five, four, and that, the, the lower it goes, the worse off it is. And I've scored some of these um, RNA that, that, that are in bad shape. Some of them are down in like 2.7, 2.9. That's RNA that you really don't want to use for any other tests, you know, any more expensive tests because it's, it's extremely degraded. This is actually the unit. Um, uh, all you got to do is um, open it, the hatch like that. Once you get your chip loaded, you want to put it in here, close it, and hit run. And you'll run is actually right here on your computer. This is what the software looks like. And um, it will test all 12 of those samples. Um, we'll go over the process in class. But um, here is also your unit right here. This is for your, this is your priming unit. And it opens up like this, and you put you have to prime your chip before you put it in. Okay, and then you also have a vortex station. Once you're done loading your chip, you, you want to vortex it by using this. And it just turns on, you, you, you slip your little chip in here like this, turn it on, and it'll shake it and mix it, mix your, your samples after you've got your RNA samples loaded. And, um, and it'll shut off by itself after one minute. The priming takes 30 seconds, and you have to do the priming before you do any of the loading or um, starting the actual process of Experion by itself. You have to do a cleaning before you, before you actually um, um, use the Experion unit, and you do it with this, the electrode cleaner, okay? And you put 800 microliters of this electrode cleaner into this green chip. Okay, see the green chip? And then once you're done with that, you'll also put 800 microliters of the deep sea treated water, which is this deep sea treated water, into another unit, green chip, and place it into the machine. And then it, it should be clean after you do two sets of deep sea water. We're probably going to do this in class, so um, you'll get your experience, but I just want to give you a shot at what Experion looks like. And this, um, this would be very helpful in your labs um, if you could do this instead of your mops and your agros gels. It's, it's just much, much easier process. It's also more expensive, but the results are definitely worth the money. Okay, y'all have a good day.